everybody, this is Praxis and it's been a productive day so far. If you look below you, you'll see uh, one of the trusses is down on the deck right here. That's the first one I built, but it's the last one that's going to go up. I'm using this as a template. I uh, built the whole thing and screwed it down onto the deck so that I can build all the other uh, trusses on top of it. What's really important isn't that you get your trusses perfect, although perfect is great in terms of like matching your design, but what's really important is that they're all exactly the same so that when they all line up, there's a nice, uh, you know, smooth surface across it. As I was building the uh, floor joists, I kept sighting across them, making sure that they were all perfectly in alignment with each other. And that work went pretty well, and hopefully this is going to go well also. Uh, the first uh, duplicate that I have is right here. I built it, like I said, on here, and then flipped it over, and I put some nails in from the back side. And uh, I'm just about to put it up. Um, I don't anticipate any real trouble with this because I put the trusses up on the actual house. Um, on my own. The first one my dad and I put up and that was really challenging. We were wondering how the hell we were going to get the other ones up. Uh, and then somehow the next day I was just working on my own. He wasn't around. I got antsy and I figured I'll just put it up myself. And somehow I did it. If you want to go back, I don't know what day that is, but you can. I've got a video of me putting up one of those trusses all by myself. The entire like triangular uh, truss up there. So anyway, this is a lot lighter than that, so I'm not that concerned about it, but, you know, we'll see. It could be a total disaster. Uh, so there are slots in, uh, at the end there. I'm going to take this, slide it back just a little bit, and uh, try to tilt it up and have it drop drop into those slots. Uh, I do have my shoulder is a little bit pulled out, but honestly, I'm, I'm always nursing some kind of injury. So that's not really anything different. I don't know how much this weighs. Okay, cool. So, uh, hopefully I can just kind of walk it. Wow, well, this feels really tenuous. This would be a lot easier with two people. Any volunteers? <laughs> Alright, let's see if I can get this in. I just got to get one of the slots in. If I could kind of walk it, it's hard because if I let... Now, can I hold on to it to get to the other side? Okay, yeah, I think I can make it. Alright. Oh boy. I remember what I disliked about doing it up there. If you lose it, if it starts going one way or the other, it's hard to stop it with a lot of weight. Alright, I'm going to see if we can drop this in. Okay. Ooh. Alright. One side in. See if we can get the other side in. It's always good to have two people for things. A lot of jobs are much easier with two. Okay, now it's safe. It's not going anywhere now because it's in the slot. All right. So that is the basic shape of the thing. That's all right. This morning when I started doing it, I did modify my design a little bit. Originally, this back wall was going to be four feet uh, tall, so I could use eight-foot boards, cut them in half. But I was just looking at it, it just felt too small. This base was really robust, this can hold a lot of stuff. And I was thinking, yeah, I should make this a little bit bigger. So I brought up the back side. It, it reduced the slope on the roof, but I think that's plenty of slope still for shedding snow. That's good, that's all right. And it's not too high in the front. You don't want to be stacking firewood too much over your head anyway. I'm liking that. So I'm gonna nail that guy in, and then make another duplicate, and pop, 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 pop. That's it. Thanks for watching.